So, you want to add in contrast to your photo, but every time you use the contrast slider inside the basics panel, it just doesn't give you the effect you're after. But don't worry, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing an alternative solution to add in natural color contrast to your photo just using Lightroom Classic. And I'm gonna start right now. So like I was saying, sometimes the contrast slider inside the basics panel just doesn't work. Sometimes it makes the photo look too dark or just sometimes too gritty. So if you want to add in natural contrast, I wouldn't recommend using the contrast slider. Instead, use the curves adjustment layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our photo here. This is a great example. Now if you go down to the basics panel, just add in contrast, so I'm gonna do that like so. It just doesn't give you that effect. It makes everything look too HDR. The blacks are too black and the, the whites are too white. And if you go the reverse, it makes everything look too matty. So instead, what we're going to do is drop out of the basics panel. I'm going to go down to the curves adjustment layer or the curves panel. Now, if you have a look here, it's basically broken up into five sections. You've got your blacks found on the far left. You've got your shadows, then midtones highlights and white on the far right. And you've got this basically this curve here, which if you brighten up the highlights by raising that line, you can see you're brightening it. And then at the black here, you can darken it, creating that natural contrast. But again, sometimes it just doesn't look right. It just doesn't have enough color to it. You wanna add that natural color contrast. So instead of using the point curve, use these three instead, your red, green, and blue. So what we're gonna do, let's go to our red first, bring up the whites, and then bring down the shadows. But don't worry about the color, we'll be fixing that in a second. So you wanna go for an S curve like so, bringing up the color in the highlights and bringing down the color in the shadows. Then, very importantly, right click on that layer and go to copy channel settings. Then go to your green channel, right click, paste channel settings. Then lastly, blue here, right click, paste channel settings. And as you can see, we've added in this nice, rich color contrast, which just isn't possible using the point curve or the contrast slider. And it's the way that I like adding in contrast now. I think it looks a lot more saturated and also a lot more organic. So here is the before and here is the after. And of course, if this helped you out, make sure to write it down in the comments below.